Is geopolitics really getting in the way of Chinese-Filipino business ties? We have with us today Mr. Angel Wu, President of the Federation of Filipino-Chinese Chambers of Commerce and Industry, to weigh in. Angel, welcome to the big story. So yeah. what was it really? Was it um, really uh, Secretary Yasai's comments? Or do you think there really was a shake-up within the Chinese uh, Commerce Ministry? Yeah, but we, when we, we, we don't know that there is a change in the dealership of the Ministry of, of Trade and Commerce, People speculate that it's the statement of Secretary Yasai that matters. But later on, we found it out that the, they have a changes of the dealership on that area. That's why I, I don't think it's the, it's, the, it's the statement of the Secretary Yasai that matters that. Since there is going to be a change, then it's immaterial if they come. Okay, well, I'm going to take this chance to actually shift you to a different topic. We all yeah. know that we're expecting um, the new order on ENDO to come out today. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know that your chamber has also made some recommendations to the administrations. Mm -hmm. Can you talk us through uh, the chamber's recommendations with yes. regard to ENDO? Yes, about the ENDO, we have the position that uh, I think it cannot be totally no contractor. Mm -hmm. It should retain some of the some of it like a contractor. Yes, some of them are taking advantage because of the contractor, but there were so many industries that need contractor, like uh, in the paper industries, uh, stationary, when the opening of the school days. So you need a lot mm -hmm. of these things, notebooks, pencil, papers, everything will come out. But you, you, you have to addition, add some more laborers on that, but mm -hmm. that will not take for the whole year. It's only for the season, mm -hmm. like in the Christmas, Christmas decor, Christmas tree. These are over the Christmas season only. Yes, I, I think that uh, that's pretty much a fair point that yeah. everyone, uh, uh, most people at least understand. Yeah. Um, and th that cannot be debated. But I think a lot of the issues are coming up with a lot of these implementations of when people, let's say, cross the line and actually end up, it ends up as abuse of uh, of contractualization. Yes. So how do you think the, uh, the government should be able to address or should implement the existing laws better to be able to, to make sure that you know, things do not fall through the cracks? I, I think the labor group, uh, labor sector and the business group will come up with a better solution on that. First, uh, the, la the labor sector suggests there is no contractor at all. Mm -hmm. Now, you understand there were some industries that need season mm -hmm. and this is what we have then the other things is uh, uh, I think government have taken the action right away for the contractor the small contractor was being eliminated some were uh, there, there there were some details that they are talking about with the labor sector and the, mm -hmm. the business sector I, I think uh, Mon Lopez secretary Mon Lopez is uh, working hard on it mm -hmm. And uh, with the help of PA Joy Conception is doing these things. So I think we, we, we voice our point to Mon Lopez and also to Secretary Bellio. About mm -hmm. How what do you happened. think Secretary, how do you find Secretary Bellio? Um, do you find him a receptive to your recommendations also? And is he consultative? Yes, uh, actually he listened to us. Mm -hmm. what, what is your request and everything? Then maybe he will, from this point, he will talk with the labor sector. But later on, then there will be some changes. So there is a, he is the one that who, uh, how could he call this, uh, balancing it mm -hmm. between the labor sector and the business sector. And uh, are you satisfied being part of the business sector? Are you satisfied with how the labor department is doing this balancing act? Yes, right. Mm -hmm. uh, as, because uh, we, we tell them that there is no such thing as totally no contractor. And they accept that. Mm -hmm. So eventually, liter by liter, I think we have to adjust one by one, especially with now the foreign investment is coming in. Mm -hmm. If we are too strong with this position, uh, I think maybe the foreign investment will have a second thought about it. Thank you yeah. very much, Mr. Angel Liu. Thank you. Thank you.